All right, so I went to the store to pick up uh, some chick essentials. And uh, while I was away, um, my daughter was carefully watching these guys and uh, they both escaped. They're getting pretty close to dry. So we may end up uh, moving these guys outside. Uh, I've got the brooder box set up and we've got the heat plate going. Although it is kind of cold at night, so I'm probably going to need to put a, uh, a temperature gauge out there to see how everybody's doing. Um, interestingly enough, I'm showing 77% humidity on that gauge and 65 on this one. And that's the first time that they've really not agreed very much at all. Uh, and that's very troubling, so I'm not real sure what I'm going to do. Staying the course seemed to work for these guys, but they weren't really the ones that I was worried about. I'm more worried about these uh, eggs that have not hatched yet. So, uh, I still have two with pips. You can see that one and the one over there. I don't see anybody else. But again, we are still kind of early. Uh, so, let's see. Nope, still hasn't clicked over to one day remaining. So we're still at uh, oh, 19 days, but we do have two hatches at 19 days. And interestingly enough, they're closely co-located. And I think a potential explanation for this isn't that they were that much earlier than everybody else, but that at least these two right here were collected after they had already started. Uh, it did get pretty warm out here for a couple of those days and the hens do sit on the eggs so what may have happened is these two in particular actually got incubated for a couple of days uh, or a day well probably a couple of days uh, outside and uh, they actually started development and then they got put into the incubator so that may have been why they're so early but all speculation we'll see how everybody else is doing it can take up to 25 days for uh, eggs to hatch and all we really need to do is make sure that uh, the thing stays on but not moving so but it looks like these guys might be ready to uh, leave the incubator today they're very fluffy and they're getting dry despite the fact that it says that our uh, humidity is very very high we do have this guy wide open so that we're getting some airflow uh, the oxygen requirements of your chicks actually uh, go up starting when you first start incubation but uh, this is the peak need for uh, oxygen so you want to have plenty of uh, oxygen in your incubator which means airflow so that's what we're doing